The Bemidji Regional Airport will be making some much needed improvements for its private sector patrons. As Mel Meyer reports, a recently awarded grant from the U.S. Department of Commerce will be used to create space for a growing market. The $800,000 grant from the Economic Development Administration will be used in part to grow the hangar space at the field. We're gearing toward the general aviation side, which are the private planes, the corporate jets, things like that. With space for just 16 crafts, usually every spot is taken and many are on the waiting list to get in as well. As far as I know, people that actually live in Bemidji and have aircraft have them in hangars at other airports. All the more reason to create two new hangars for private and corporate plane so storage. As you can imagine, somebody that's flying a $100,000, $200,000 airplane doesn't really like it sitting outside in the elements. The grant will also create an aircraft ramp, which could be used by the two on-site businesses, Bemidji Aviation and Air Corps Aviation. They can put some big construction or some big hangars up that they will use for uh, their aviation activities. Bemidji Aviation confirms that it gave a letter of intent for the grant, saying that it has outgrown its current space and its projections show a need for even more in the future. What they'll do is expand their operations and then that'll increase the job and then have an impact on the region's economy. The airport authority says this trickle-down effect would be felt by other brands as more and more corporate planes fly in and out of the field each day. This is now a corporate world. All this affects the economy of the area. The authority says that it will now start designing the infrastructure improvements. In Bemidji, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. The Economic Development Administration will have to approve the project's design before putting it out for construction bids, but the airport authority is hopeful that it can start some of the construction process by the end of the year. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.